Hello YouTube fans, this is The Skull Clown. If you're new, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, obviously, I'm going to talk about wrestling. Obviously, the Royal Rumble 2016. Um, my predictions, basically. Um, I haven't been watching wrestling for quite a while. Most people will be like, out. <laughs> but hear me out. H hear me out. The reason I haven't been watching wrestling lately is because... Really? I mean... Do, do we have to say it? I mean... Real, true, hardcore wrestling fans would know why. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to say it, really. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my predictions. Ugh, it's just... Alright. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to the Royal Rumble. And the Royal Rumble should be my favorite time of the year. You know, because WrestleMania season. And I'm not even looking forward for WrestleMania. That's sad, because WWE is trying to, you know, have that... Attendance record, but I feel like they're not even going to do it if they just not do not doing good storylines. Yeah, but again, that's me. Oh, there's some good stuff in WWE. Yeah, just three hours is way too much. It, I'm sorry, three hours is just dead. It kills it. Anyways, I am gonna get my predictions and. Yeah, of the Royal Rumble. So, let's get started with, let's see, a last man standing match. Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. Who do I think will win this match? Well, I'm, <laughs> Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. I've seen how Kevin Owens works, obviously, and I, I already know how Dean Ambrose works. So, seeing these two guys battling out, I actually will look forward to that. Um... I can't wait for that match, to be honest. I mean, am I am I am going to watch Royal Rumble? Yes. Am I looking forward to it? <sighs> no. <laughs> but this Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship, I really see this match being really good. Maybe it might steal the show. Maybe it won't. Will it open the show? Maybe. If it opens the show, then maybe... I don't know, maybe you should put that match before the Royal Rumble, to be honest. Because if you have that match first, that match might steal the show and might make the Royal Rumble a piece of shit. Or maybe people might be just tired. It could happen, it's possible. Is it possible that a first match could be awesome and wear out the people? Yes, it could be possible. Who knows? I mean, I don't know, maybe everyone had high energy once they got there. And then when they saw the first match, it's like, yeah! Woo! I'm exhausted. More matches? Ugh. I mean, it's possible, right? It is. It's really possible. Um, but, continuing on with after this match. Oh, who do I predict to win? Um, I predict Kevin Owens to win um, the Intercontinental Championship. I think he's... I think he'll be perfect for it. And I think it's about time that, yeah, Dean Ambrose drops the title, in my opinion. Uh, but, it, will I be upset if he keeps it? No, but at the same time, what did you do <laughs> with the title while you were holding it? I don't know. Um, moving on. <laughs> but again, yeah, Kevin Owens. The next match is Alberto de Rio versus Kalisto for the United States Championship. Who do I predict for this? I know they're trying to have Kalisto being like the Rey Mysterio type guy and you know for all the kids and everything, which is fine. Then if they're trying to do that, then Kalisto should win. Um, but if they don't want him to win, then obviously they can have a border win. Um, but give it to Kalisto. He's hot. People like him. And and obviously kids love him. So why not give it to him? It would give a reason for the kids to be like, I don't want the United States, mommy. You know, because them, them, you know, the guy in the mask is wearing it, you know. Um, it, it's possible. And they're still trying to find that Lucha guy. And I'm not saying a Butter or Rio would be that, is that guy. But, I mean, he's more like uh, what Eddie Guerrero is, you know. And then, and Kalisto is more like a Rey Mysterio, you know. But I'm not saying they're exactly the same. Two different people, two different fights, two, yeah, everything different. But I'm predicting Kalisto to win. But if Alberto Rio wins, 
I don't know, let's just see what happens. <laughs> and how am I, and how is it gonna, if, if Kalista wins, obviously there will be a rematch. Will there be a rematch before WrestleMania? Maybe, or maybe they will have it at WrestleMania. So let's just see what happens. So again, yeah. <laughs> um, let's continue. Let's see. Uh, this is the, okay. The next match is the Divas Championship match. It, um, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Woo! <laughs> now, I want Charlotte Flair to win, to be honest. Um, there's, I heard that there's a little, you know, scuffle between her and her father, so I'm predicting that she will win, but, oh, how about this? Maybe Scarlett loses. Most people might be like, what's the point of her winning it then? Uh, okay, what if, she, all right, what if she did lose? If she lost the fight, I think it would, it would be really great if, you know, it, it, she would break up from her father, basically, like, saying that, you know, what the fuck, you know, because obviously the father was in the heat of the moment, you know, and it's like, yeah, I get that, of course my daughter would challenge you for that championship, it's like, what? <laughs> who do you, who gives you the say, right, just because you're my father, what the fuck, no, get out of here, I get to say because I'm a champion, <laughs> I don't know, uh, but... <laughs> I predict, I predict that she will win, but if she loses, I guarantee that she will break up with Ric Flair right there. She will just leave her dad right there and walk out. Um, or, or maybe be mad, smack her dad, and then walk out. Or, if she wins, she probably will, you know, her, probably her dad will raise her hand, and then she probably kicks on the balls and walks away. You know, which one's more effective for you guys? Um, what's, to me, what's more effective is for her to lose then treat her father like crap. But if she wins, then treats her father like crap to show, hey, I did it without you. That's even more better, in my opinion. Holy shit, do that. <laughs> but after that, what, what are you going to do after? Who's she going to fight at WrestleMania if she wins? Or if she loses? If Becky Lynch wins, then who's she going to fight? Is there a rematch? I mean, obviously, there will be a rematch. But is the rematch going to last all the way up to WrestleMania or after WrestleMania? That's what I want to know. So, let's continue on. So, again, I predict Charlotte Flair to win, but if Becky Lynch wins, then there, there's my predictions on that one. So, let's continue on. And, sorry, this phone is a piece of crap. <laughs> so, let's see. You know, it would be really helpful if you can just, you know, flip, flip. Next is the WWE Tag Team Championships. The New Day versus the Yo Usos. Uh, a lot of people do like the New Day. I personally hate the New Day. But, they are doing a good job making me hate them. So, you know what? That's good. You're supposed to make me hate you. That's your job. You're a heel. You're a bad guy. Do that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the Usos. Obviously, the Usos. Rakishi's sons, okay? That's, I mean, that's awesome. And they're obviously paying homage to Rakishi. I think, I think this would be a good match, to be honest. The Usos is good. The New Day are always pretty hot. Um, I, I like the New Day, but, I mean, they piss me off, obviously. They're annoying as fuck, and I wish they could die. Not literally die, die, but, like, die out as a team. So, um... But whatever, it just make it, it. I'm actually happy that I hate these guys. Wow, WWE, you actually did something right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> maybe you can try. Maybe put Roman Reigns here. Okay, maybe not that. But do something after I remember. But anyways, I'll get to that soon. So, who do I want to win? I don't know. I like the Usos, but at the same time, the New Day's doing pretty good. So, I, I don't, don't know. You know, I'm going for the New Day. That's it. I hate the New Day, but I'm going to go for them. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. My, my cards are on the table for the New Day. If the Uso wins, they deserve it. You know? But if the New Day retains, again, they deserve it too. <laughs> I, I, don't know who, I don't know who to pick. I just love these both teams. One I love so much. One I love to hate and you know how much you guys you know you obviously you guys how much i love when people how much i love hate basically you know like how much i would love to hate something or someone that hates me you know oh just oh i don't know who to pick for this it's just 
two sides of the same coin that I enjoy. <laughs> uh, but continue on. Um, the Fatal Fall Way match to kick off. So yeah, it's a kickoff show. We will have uh, we'll have Damian Sandow. Um obviously Damian Sandow and oh my god, this is going crazy. Can let me see I'm forgetting the names on top of my head people. Um but there is a pre show match with the Dudley brothers, um Damian Sandow, um what's his name? <laughs> Mark Henry Jack Swagger, and Luminati. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Luminati. Dude. Um, and... Oh, I forgot his name. What is his name? You know what? People are just going to scroll me to death because I just don't remember these names. But, it's a kickoff show. So, so I even talk about the kickoff show? Probably not. You know, because... Sometimes when I do want to watch the kickoff show, it doesn't happen. Because I missed it. That happens a lot. But every time I miss it, people tell me it wasn't even that good. So moving on. Um for that prediction, I I I, I it's a pre-show. So whoever wins wins. So the final match is the Royal Rumble. 30 men competing for the WWE Championship. We haven't seen that since, what, 92? And I wasn't even born in 92. I was born in 93. And we haven't seen that for a while. So, WWE has to go all out. Superstars need to pull double shift, in my opinion. The title's on the line. Have everyone there and have some other people there, you know? And who will win the Royal Rumble, in my opinion? Well, to be honest, guys... <sighs> Roman Reigns is going to win. I don't like it better than anyone else. I guarantee you that. But WWE wants to push this guy to the fucking moon. And maybe he's not 100% ready... In my opinion, he's not 100% ready. Um, to me, he should have never won the title to begin with, in my opinion. But, that's just me. And then Brock Lesnar is here just for a cup of coffee. Who's going to win the Royal Rumble? Oh, Roman Reigns. A lot of people don't give a fuck. Like last year. Damn WWE. You're going to do it again, huh? Jesus, fuck. Oh my God. This is going to happen again. Three years in a row. Three years. Three fucking years. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, fuck you. I'm not watching it anymore. I don't know how they're going to do it. If they do it awesome, okay. But at the same time, you're not put, you're not, where's the story? Where's the, where, where's the hype? Where's the hype to all of this? Where is it? People, you might be, you might be some hype in some matches, but overall, what are you really hyped for? And, what the fuck? And then Roman Reigns is going to win. Now, most people might be like, what if Triple H enters the Royal Rumble and wins? Then we're going to have Roman Reigns versus Triple H at WrestleMania. And God damn it, I don't fucking want that to happen. Fuck. I don't. I really don't want that to no. <laughs> So what do I want to see at the main event of WrestleMania? Are you shitting me? I don't fucking know at this point. Because everyone that I actually enjoy is mostly injured. And mostly, WWE doesn't push, push other talent to make them feel like they can mean something at WrestleMania. Like a John Cena or Undertaker. Or, again, what they're trying to do with Roman Reigns. 
but it's not working, isn't it, WWE? And what do you have? You don't have a lot of superstars that can go up on the mantle, but probably Brock Lesnar, but he's just here for a cup of fucking coffee. So he's not going to be here for that long. He's just here to probably get a paycheck, and that's fine. But still, he's here for a cup of coffee. He's not here for long term. Roman Reigns is. So what are you doing? What is your plan, WWE? What is your plan? What is your diabolic plan? Your demonic plan? Your Illuminati plan? What is it? What the fuck is it? You don't know. You probably don't fucking know yourself. And this is terrible. This is fucking terrible. If WWE does this a third time in a row, I shit you not. I shit, shit you not. Now, I've watched Lucha Underground. Why am I not watching that? Why am I not? Why is that not on USA Network? Why is that not on the WWE Network? And I want, and I do want to see Lucha Underground, but you know what? They have just clips of, you know, of videos on YouTube. They don't have the full season. I would love to, no, season two. I would like to watch season one and two. But how the fuck am I going to do that? I don't know. But they probably have their own website. They probably do. I got to check that out. Um, they probably do, most likely. But it's, it's, what are your future plans, WWE? Are you, you are planning to have so many people at this year's WrestleMania. But, it feels like no one wants to show up for this year's WrestleMania. It feels that way. The other WrestleManias felt like some people probably wanted to go. But this year, to me it feels like no one doesn't want to go. It feels like even the wrestlers don't even fucking want to go. Why? Because they're not putting the effort. Or should I say WWE is not putting the effort. What the fuck? Put effort. Put good storylines. Do something. You know? Do something that people will enjoy. You know? All we want is good wrestling, good storylines, and good characters. But are you giving us that? Eh. Meaning yes and sometimes no. You do it, but you don't keep it up with it. It's like yay and then you go back down. What's wrong with that? You can't keep it up. Strike when the iron is hot, guys. Whatever happened to that? Whatever happened going to the backstage and telling all your employees, hey, wake the fuck up. Do what you have to do to get to the fucking top. And we'll make sure and we do what we have to do and you do what you have to do. Instead of us making you to the top. Instead of the audience telling us that you should be at the top. You get it? Instead of us telling you you should be at the top, the fans need to do that. Not the business people. The business people will push you to the moon if the fans like you. Now, there are, you know, interpretations. If the, if the, I mean, most people might be like, well, they're not going to push a superstar to the moon if, if the fans like, you know, a cruiserweight person, you know, like a cruiserweight person. It's true, but that does not mean they can't push them. You know, maybe they maybe they might bring the Cruiserweight Championship. They could be United States Champion. It's a Kanaka Champion. Just because they don't have to have the WWE Championship does not mean that they can't be in the Hall of Fame. Does that mean does not mean that they're not a good wrestler? It just means that people are put in different positions. You have your Cruiserweights, you have your lightweights, heavyweights, and your superweights. So there you go. Um, it it all happens. So who doesn't know that? I I don't know what's going to happen to the Royal Rumble, that guys. I don't... I feel, if I'm surprised at the end, then maybe WWE did a good job. Now, if I'm surprised but pissed off, that is different. They. Now, I don't know what WWE wants to do. I don't want Roman Reigns to win. Brock Lesnar could win, but again, he's here for a cup of coffee. I have a problem with that. And if Triple H wins, then we're just going to get Triple H versus Roman Reigns. And if we get, and if Brock Lesnar wants to come in, it'd be a triple threat match. Why would we... Uh, uh. This is WWE's fault. They don't have 
any other superstars to push to the moon. Bray Wyatt, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, and mostly every superstar that's good out there should be heading to WrestleMania and have a good storyline. And should already this storyline for WrestleMania should be already prepared. Should have been already prepared by the beginning of last year. You know, plan things ahead. Don't plan them right before the other. Because you can fuck up. It's a business. It's not like a YouTube video. That you could do one and then do another one. Doing another one and not having plans. You could, but you don't have to. But this is my, but this is my thoughts on it. My predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you guys think down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And ugh, what do you think about the Royal Rumble, guys? I'm looking forward to it. It's just that the matches... The matches are not bad when you look at the card. They're not bad. It's just how they're going to how they're gonna be played out is what bothers me the most. How is this going to be played out? How is the fans going to react? Because, you know, a few days ago, the fans didn't react to anything. They were just like, yay, yay. Instead of, ah. Again, that's me. See you guys later, and don't forget to subscribe.